Are you truly a representation or figure of what is known to be an immoral, according to the set of values and philosophies that is deemed by our current society, individual or scoundrel? Well strictly, but to the contradictory, we deny such occupation. Have you ever committed acts of kidnapping or seizure to a moral, according to the set of values and philosophies that is deemed by our current society, individual who's such an example of being well established and creditable, happens to have abilities that is beyond our human capacity of our current evolution, and also known to be admired or idealized for his or her noble qualities. We deny such action being taken. Have you experimented the use of one concealing one's known physical appearance to form an alternating identity to fool adversaries to cause them to have the mindset of being said identity? We deny such action as well. My perception and knowledge of you three gentlemen are now fathomable. Now I must proceed through the process of lecturing the actions and arrangements within a continuous, but progressive, procedure to becoming immoral, according to the set of values and philosophies that is deemed by our current society, individuals. <laughs> We are representing the highest order in our artificially known qualitative system. We are representing the highest order in our artificially known qualitative system. Now have a comprehensible understanding what I am meticulously commanding you gentlemen. I present a small antidote in filling your minds with the act of deception. As this period of time will be converted to us being remembered for our legacies of being glorified or reminisced. If you happen to desire representing the highest order of scoundrels, then you must perform an action of pursuing a moral exemplar within a fast wayfaring motion. Emulate all my visual actions and qualities, as I demonstrate one instance of avoiding discernible sight of our adversary or stealth within our artificially established parameters. Be cautious of making a disturbance that will generate a vibration made up of repeated longitudinal wave with displaced frequencies between 20 Hz and 20 kHz within the medium made up of pressurized oxygen molecules trapped within the Earth's atmosphere, as it will produce an audible noise that will travel through our adversator's eardrum that will transmit data to his brain, and outputs a feeling of suspicion that we are collecting present or in sight within the perimeters of the traveled way. And as I previously mentioned prior, that you inadvertently stepping on this oak brunch produced that so-called sound wave, and I advise you to not come in contact with it in any circumstance. We are representing the highest order in our artificially known qualitative system. We are representing the highest order in our artificially known qualitative system. We are representing the highest order in our artificially known qualitative system. My sensation of pleasure made me produce an audible cackle. Now, observe these series of nylon filaments composed of overhand knots to make a net that I attained as of late of time. Now I will delegate a task to you gentlemen as I trust and expect you to succeed. I will render an audible command that you gentlemen will commit the action of throwing or flinging this net. As we have little time left within our observable universe, I will simply give the command of go. And go. As I alleged of trusting you gentlemen to simply perform this task, your ignorance and ineptitude put me in the mindset of frustration. Perhaps I wasn't specific enough to give precise instructions as you gentlemen are to theoretically throw this net at the moment our adversary is within our visible sight. But instead threw it at me as your minds avoided the currently established standard of what society means of common sense. Let us experiment with another method of apprehending our adversary. Now witness and study as I place these ripened out to skins of motherboard by Ziana, as your misstep on top of them will yield a lesser state of kinetic friction between the surfaces of the skin and the floor causing you to begin losing your body's center of mass due to the unforeseen slip and slide as you begin to descend at an acceleration due to gravity or fall, producing a comedic effect that has a commonly known trope in our modern culture. As I already addressed the incompetence of you gentlemen, I wasn't giving you a direct command to execute what I was lecturing, so I'm questioning your intelligence and practicality. I'm again going to express the mindset of frustration. We are representing the highest order in our artificially known qualitative system. 
scoundrels of the highest order in our artificially known qualitative system. We are representing the highest order in our artificially known qualitative system. Oh dear, now I must express my fear with an audible piercing cry as I'm being plundered to my impending doom of being ceased to exist or death. We are representing the highest order in our artificially known qualitative system. We are representing the highest order in our artificially known qualitative system. We are representing the highest order in our artificially known qualitative system.